Hello everyone, welcome to the Shrimpy Miggy channel. My name is Helen. Everyone, I have to admit, I lied. My last video that I made, I said that it was my one year anniversary of using Rogaine foam and that I loved it so much and it was doing such a great job for me. I was not gonna switch to the liquid, especially because I could not find liquid in 5% here in Canada which it seems to be the consensus from everybody. I've spoken to other people and I've got comments from you guys, which thank you so, so much. Thank you for leaving me your comments and asking me questions. I always appreciate them and I try my best to get back to everybody, uh, but I lied. I said I was gonna stick to this foam, but guess what happened? I took a trek south of the border. For those of you who don't know, I live here in Toronto, Canada. That's not too far from the United States. Our closest state is New York State and our closest big city from where I live here is Buffalo. So it's really, really common here that we do something called cross-border shopping, which is just like you hop in your car for the day and you cross the border and you go to like Target, you go to Trader Joe's, you go to like different places you can't eat at here and then you come back loaded up like with your stomach loaded up and your trunk loaded up with goods and you cross back over into Canada and you think, wow, I just love shopping in the United States. Um, especially Target. We had Target here for a while in Canada and then they closed up. So if anybody's interested in that story, drop me a note in the comments. I'm more than happy to talk about why I think Target failed here in Canada. Uh, but yeah, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're talking about Rogaine and uh, Minoxidil. So people, guess what I found when I was in Target in Buffalo? I found generic Minoxidil liquid. Oh my God, I am so super excited. I'm super excited. I couldn't find this here in Canada at all. And guess what? This stuff was, I think, 20 bucks. I could not believe the price. I can't believe the price difference with the actual foam. I will stick a picture in of the prices in the aisles at Target. This is just a regular Target, regular price. It wasn't like any kind of rollback price or anything like that. This, the box that I pay, I pay cheapest here in Canada, $110 from well.ca. That was the absolute cheapest that I can find it from because it's expensive. So I shopped it around, I did my comparison shopping and I just buy it online from them. And I like to support them as well. They're just like, a, they're not local to Toronto, but they're like in Ontario, uh, online sort of pharmacy and beauty places. So if you're in Canada, this is not sponsored, this is not an ad as I always say, but def definitely check out well.ca. They have a lot of great sales on like beauty blenders and like Kristen S shampoo, which you can't even get, I don't think regularly here, or maybe you can get it from somewhere else. I've never seen it, but I have seen it at well.ca. So that's a great tip for you guys. Uh, but what was I saying? Yes, I could not believe the price, $110 Canadian, plus our taxes, which are high. Uh, and then when I looked at this uh, aisle in Target, I, I almost fell down, like legit. I almost fell down in the aisle. Um, I, it's less than half the price. Albeit it's in American dollars, but like it's crazy. So I was sort of getting, I had this like weird rage in Target over how expensive it is here in Canada. Like I had this really weird energy and this weird rage and I didn't know what to do with it. So what I did do with it was that I purchased something. I purchased, I didn't purchase the Rogaine cause I just flippin' purchased my supply at 110 bucks and I could have bought it for 46 bucks, 46 bucks had I just waited the extra two weeks, but I had run out. Anyhow, I decided not to get too angry at myself and just move on, Helen. You gotta sometimes just move on in life. And uh, what I did do was I bought this liquid though. So what I think I'm gonna do going forward is I'm gonna switch them. Like maybe I'll use foam one day and then I'll switch to the liquid because one of my fears is that like the foam is working so good for me. I'm hesitant to stop. What happens if I stop and the other stuff, like the generic doesn't work as well. And many people will tell you it's the exact same active ingredient, but if you have a lot of experience with pharmaceuticals, as I do, sometimes the generics work a little differently than the brand name. I mean, yes, theoretically, the chemical structure is exactly identical and stuff like that, but I mean, let's just keep in mind now, they also don't even know how some pharmaceuticals work in, in humans. So I don't know, all I'm saying is I'm not super, I'm not, I'm a little scared. I'm a tiny bit scared to switch over to something else, but like this was 20 bucks US. Are you kidding me? What a great value. So I have not opened it yet. As you can see, I thought I would just save it to, uh, so that we can open it together and have a look at what's inside. And so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna test this foam versus uh, this liquid. But before I do that, I just wanna remind you guys to subscribe so that when I make more of this Rogaine content, you 
uh, have it right away. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell as well. And before I do this little comparison test, just a uh, reaction test to the liquid, I wanted to answer a question that popped up and I try and do these, so that's another reason to subscribe. If you follow my videos, I answer, I try and answer questions as they do come in and they just keep coming in, it's amazing. Every time I think I've done all the different videos, all the different and answered all the questions, more questions come in that I've never thought of. It's, it is the gift that keeps on giving and honestly, I would love for you guys to subscribe, but if you don't, you know, honestly, it is, my passion, you can follow me on Instagram, Shrimpy McGee. Um, it is my passion to help women with hair loss and are thinking about Rogaine, like just to help them walk through it if that's what they want to do. Of course, you don't have to, but that's just a reason to subscribe here or not. I'm just honestly super passionate about helping women because people just have so many questions and I love answering questions. So let's just, I'm also on Reddit because I have no life. Um, let's pop up this Reddit question that I saw and that I decided to answer to in a woman's hair loss uh, subreddit that I belong to. Um, someone said, I see a lot of posts about three month or six month progress, but little else after that. So I'm wondering how long does the regrowth get? Does it get, uh, does it only get a few inches long or can the regrowth get as long as your other hair? How promising is the long-term success with Rogaine? Well, I did go in and answer her. And I just said that, you know, I did the one year video and you guys can check that out too. That was the most recent Rogaine video that I've done. So have a look, I'll actually link that up for you. And so far as I can tell that Rogaine regrowth, which is super hard to see, my hair's dark also, which doesn't help. And this is not the brightest of places, but I'll come in a wee bit closer. You know, I think that as far as I can tell, it's about six inches long, which would make sense. So that's about like what, maybe that long. So far as I can tell, that's how long I haven't individually gone close up to look, but, um, and six, six inches is about, I think what I would expect. My hair is not super fast growing. It's actually slower. It might even be less than six inches. That's just my estimate. Yes, it does grow. It does grow past six months, but I mean, hair has a natural phase where it will fall. Like every hair eventually falls out anyway and is replaced by another hair. As far as I can tell, it will grow into a normal length. I've never heard anybody say that they all fall out at the three month stage because then you'd permanently have like a halo of like little frizzies and I don't, it's pretty long. It's not too much flyaway action going on, especially back in the bald spot where I had the most regrowth. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers that question. Okay, so onwards, onwards, onwards. Let's crack this bad girl open. So this is the generic, this is Target's brand, right? This up and up brand with this arrow. I love Target so much. Just love it there. I cannot get enough. It is like an upscale Walmart. I don't know, I like it. Okay, people, we've got lots of um, liquid bottles. Okay, this is interesting. There's three of them in here, which I guess is your three months supply. Wait, is it three months supply? Yeah, three months supply. This is the men's. So I think I saw some women's there, but of course, as you guys know, I just get the men's because minoxidil. If you want to know why I get the uh, men's, then uh, I don't know. Slide into my DMs over on Instagram. <laughs> like I always say, I don't want to get sued by Rogaine. Um, okay. All right. Minoxidil, minoxidil. Can you guys see? Topical solution. 5%. Super exciting. Okay. All right. I'm just going to, not for use by women. It always says this on these. And so, yeah, not for use by women. And here we go. Like I've said before, I've been clear to use the men's, so unless an actual doctor physically pops up on this leaflet and tells me and looks at my head and tells me that it's not for use by me, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. Okay, so apply minoxid minoxidil. How come I can't say minoxidil? Uh, 5% once in the morning, once at night. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna be putting on in the morning. It is sort of the late morning now. I haven't put any on. We're gonna do, um, like I said, we're gonna do the foam on one side and the liquid on the other. Okay, I'm just gonna read through this and then I'll come back when I've read it and I figured out what to do. It just says remove the cap, push down and turn in the direction of the arrows. Okay, so it's got one of these safety caps on. Fair enough. Let's have a sniff test. Smells like nothing, which is great. My favorite smell is the smell of nothing. It says to fill it to this one milliliter mark. So you see that little black line and it says do not put more. If you put more then to drop it back in. Okay. Oh, okay. So you see it's a bit, 
it's a bit drippy, so you wanna just maybe tap off those drips. And we're gonna put it on one side of my hair first. So, ooh, it's kinda of making me nervous. Okay, so I guess the downside is the liquid is liquidy, right? So with the foam, it's very carefree because it's really just gonna stick, but the liquid, I don't want it to drop on my clothes. I mean, I don't think it's gonna discolor or anything like that. Just don't want to. Okay, so you guys know how I do my foam, and if you don't, then go back and watch my video. That is, you know, the most watched video of anyone I've made was about me putting on Rogaine quickly. Rogaine foam, so this is Rogaine liquid. So it says just to part your hair, which I don't do, because I know where I want to hit. I just put in a little at a time, so I'm just dropping it in there, hopefully. Okay, I can feel wetness and cold on my draw on my bald spot, baldish spot. Okay. And I just know that I need some along here and I'm gonna work it in. I don't know, there's probably a better way to do this, but uh, okay, so reactions, it's cold, it's wet, it doesn't feel bad. Hmm. Let's see how much I've used. I feel like I've dropped a bit in. <gasps> oh, it's on my hands, yuck. Okay, well, that's something to keep in mind, it's drippy. And so it's much messier than the foam. I know that, I can see that already. But it's a hell of a lot cheaper, isn't it? I mean, even at the even at Target, this stuff is, you know, the the Rogaine foam is forty six bucks, and this was I'm pretty sure I only paid twenty bucks for it. So huge price difference. Okay, so but you know what I like? I do like that it's going in right away. The problem with the foam is, in my opinion, not that there's any real problem with the foam, but now that my hair is a bit thicker, it's actually I finding the foam kind of sitting a bit on top of the hair. So I'm liking that I can really kind of this going in right away, right to my scalp, right where I need it. Whereas sometimes the foam is just kind of plopped a bit on top. Okay, did I use this yet? So that's where I concentrate it because that's sort of where I have my hair loss in through here, in through here, but it's really grown in. So luckily this is just kind of more of a maintenance situation. Okay, so I use that. So that took a little while. I'd say that took a, a bit longer than the foam, but you know, in fairness, it took longer. Than, yes, it took longer than the foam, but this is my first time using it, so I'll get quicker at that and probably could get that down. Um, that feels the tiniest bit oily in my fingers, nothing crazy. So I'm just gonna go wash my hand now because, um, I don't know, I don't want my fingers to get hairy. I don't want my fingers to sprout hair, so I'll be right back. I'm just gonna work this in with my finger while I'm walking to the washroom and then I'm gonna wash my hand and then I'll be back and we're gonna do the foam on the other side. All right, back, I washed my hand, that all went in really well, I'm actually, very pleasantly surprised with the liquid. Very pleasantly surprised with the price because girls and boys, I am on a budget. Okay, so let's go on in with the Rogaine. And you know, I'm sorry to bore you. Maybe you just wanna stop now if you've already seen me do this, but um, here we go. If you haven't seen them, this is gonna be new to you. This is how I put the Rogaine in. You know, it says to put it on a plate. I ain't got time for that. I haven't got time to be messing with a plate. I just straight up invert it, put my thumb on this thing here. What is that called, the applicator button? And I just go in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, you know? And, you know, but the main thing is I'm gonna work it in. So this is cold as well. And uh, I've been using this for now a year and I like it. I just let it settle just that tiny bit, but not too long, because it will start to run. I was letting it melt and then I was letting it melt for too long and then it was like running down my forehead and I don't, I'm not trying to grow hair on my forehead. Uh, so, <laughs> So yeah, once on the scalp, it feels pretty similar. I apply Rogaine, I mean, you can apply it on damp hair, I apply it on completely dry hair. That, felt, that feels fine, it's, so I use, I'm using, so I applied with my left on this hand, the liquid is oilier, definitely. The foam is much drier to the touch. I like the foam too, so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe switch them up. I think I'm gonna do to save money. I am going to switch them up, I'm gonna do liquid one day and Rogaine the next day and we'll see how that goes. And so, yeah, definitely oilier, 100% the liquid it has an oilier touch to it, but it goes on and it seems to spread into the hair, if that makes sense. And if you have dry hair, maybe it's actually a bonus. Um, it seems to spread all over the scalp much better and the foam kind of just sticks where you put it, which makes sense, right? Cause it's got a penetrate, like if you put it sort of on your hair, even if you part it, you still have to rub it in. Okay, so let's look at, let's take a look now at what you're dealing with just like on a physical level. This is gonna be hard to travel with, so that's a concern too. This is a liquid. I don't think you're gonna be able to keep it. Like, is that gonna spill or not? I really don't know. You could put the cap back on. 
I would be hesitant to take this with me in any kind of situation where it's gonna tip. I don't even wanna tip it now. It just doesn't feel super secure. Maybe you're supposed to take the, no, you can close it with this. Close tightly, it says, okay. So that was interesting. I don't rate this liquid very highly for travel because it is making me very nervous that it's gonna spill. I've traveled with the Rogaine foam lots of times on airplanes and whatnot and, um, you know, you just follow whatever the rules are for foams and stuff like that. You might not be able to have it on your carry-on, but I've traveled with this on airplanes. I went to Jamaica and I took it with me and I can't remember where else I took it with me, but I definitely took it to Jamaica with me. It travels easily. Of course, it's a mousse. So unless you deploy this button here, it doesn't spill. This liquid, I would be super hesitant personally. I would not travel with it once it's open. Maybe an idea is, and, but it's so expensive on the other hand, so maybe you just take a fresh one that's never been opened and you take your plunger with you when you get there and just chance it on the way back. I don't know. Listen, travel logistics, you gotta figure them out yourselves, <laughs> whatever works for you. And whether they work any differently, I don't know. We'll have to see, jury's out on that, but I just wanted to give you my reaction to the liquid. I'm super happy with the way it went on. It feels pretty good. It is a bit oilier, I'm fine with that. My scalp is mega dry, my hair is mega dry right now, so I'm, I'm down with that. Uh, so yeah, I would say really good reaction, loving the price, and so subscribe, like, do all the things, and I will probably make, uh, you know, I'm gonna let some time elapse, and then we'll see if this was effective as well, and I will give you my opinions on that at some point in the future. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.